Night Supernatural here, and we are back with some Gold Rush. The game. Um, I'm moving really slow because I have a joystick set up to emulate a real backhoe. And now I have to get used to these controls because I had it set up differently. But uh, we're back, and I wanted to get this video out because I haven't done anything other than Minecraft in a little while. So I figured, hey... We'll spice it up a bit, do a video of Gold Rush, but there will be more high pixel Minecraft for sure this week. So, I just wanted to uh, get back in this game and see if we can make some money. There's tons of things to do. We haven't even got started yet. We still have rent, like rent this lot quite a, a while. Uh, I want to end up buying a lot. If it's this, not this one, maybe one of the new ones. Um, but we're going to make as much money as we can here first. Obviously. Now it would be really cool is if I had two joysticks. And I may buy a second one but I don't know if that setup will work I don't know how I lost some there, but... Oh, forgive me. I had them set up as John Deere controls, so, like, when I pushed on the right joystick, I would spin to the right. But now I have them on cat controls, so now the left and right on the joystick activates the bucket. Which I think will be a lot more effective after I learn how to do it. I just gotta train my body, train myself. But it's actually really cool that I'm able to even, co like, you know, even do this remotely. The problem is I have uh, the stick, which is this version, and the rotate on my hat, which is just like a little, uh, four-way knob essentially that's on the top of the joystick so training myself is hard but I figured I'm gonna end up running a real backhoe one day I mean I have ran r real backhoes you think this would be easy for me, but because it's not like the same kind of joystick, I'm not using two of them, I'm not in a seat, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit weird. We're finding lots of nuggets. Like, it, lots of nug nugs. Alright, so story time with Timmy. Um, so this story is about a campground. Okay, I'm not going to mention any names right now. Uh, we're going to call it River. We're going to call it River Poop. Like, literally, River Poop is what I'm going to call it. So there's a campground near where I live. Uh, and my girlfriend and her family come from a city that's about three hours away. How, don't ask how we met. We met at a Boy Scout camp. Yeah, I know. Weird, huh? But uh, we met there, and we've been together for quite a while now. And they brought a camper down so they could be close to me. Well, they got a campsite. You know, we got a contract with them, and we signed everything. And uh, I mean, low on fuel. We're going to run it until it runs out. But, uh. 
you know, we signed a contract with them and we did everything professional. Well, it turns out these guys just want a secluded camp, okay? So nothing in the contract states that family can't stay. Guests have to pay, family gets to stay, kind of thing. Well, the owners of the property signed this contract with us, okay? And they agreed to the terms as much as we did. Well, a few weeks go by, and my girlfriend and I stay in the camper without her parents. Well, now there's a problem, because we're not on the contract, and we're guests, and guests aren't allowed to stay unless, you know, the owner is there, or the contract holder is there. But here's the problem. We are on the contract. Just just FYI, we are listed as family. We're not listed as guests. So we're under a different influence according to their uh, contract. But these greedy little guys, like they're trying to squeeze every little dime they can out of her family. And they're like, oh, well, you can't have dogs even though everybody else can because we have two puppies and they like to get rambunctious and run away. And you know, dogs will be dogs. Dogs will get off their lines and they'll do things that they're not supposed to and they know better and it's just they're puppies. You know. Well, none of our neighbors have a problem with that cuz all of our guests there have animals. They all have dogs. So, all the campers around us were like, "Oh, no, we're not filing complaints." You know, we're we're apologizing to these people cuz you know, we think we're we're making them mad and, you know, it's a big issue. And they're like, no, no, if we had a problem with you, we'd come talk to you. So I'm like, oh, so you're telling me that our uh, owners of the property are lying to us. And they're like, well, we're not reporting you. So we went around, all right, and talked to everybody in this campground. Uh, we talked to all of our neighbors. One of them is, was introduced to us as the assistant, mind you. And they called her a old woman with nothing better to do. That's, that's what these people called this lady who gave up her free time to help them because they're new at the business. Okay? And it just, it, that, kind of, that kind of crap is just, you know, utterly utterly disrespectful to her and now you know we're going through a fight we're leaving we've paid for a season mind you we paid eight hundred dollars for their season which might not sound like a lot it might sound like a whole lot who knows i don't really care but they won't reimburse us and we're because we're leaving they won't give us back our money it's no refund is what they claim all right so their contract does state no refunds but the problem is, they've been breaking contracts for a while. Uh, they Every weekend we stay there, uh, they come over and harass us. There was a whole month where we weren't there. And they blamed stuff on us that we weren't there for. Uh, the wife's own, The owner's wife constantly goes around and tells all the newcomers that come in to look out for us and that we break the rules. And they point, and she points at us, and calls us out directly. So, I'm gonna let this be known that uh, this lady is nuts. All right. So people have been filing complaints against us. Maybe. Well, one over the weekend, over last weekend, not the not this weekend that we're in, which is Labor Day weekend, the weekend prior to Labor Day. All right. The weekend prior to Labor Day, we had people there shooting off fireworks. And according to the contract, fireworks are not allowed. Well, everybody in the area around us have dogs that are scared of loud noises. They're afraid of that. And now we're all ha we all have panicking dogs. Well, we went and complained. And they told us that they weren't going to file our complaint. So... They're filing other people's complaints on us, but they refuse to file any of our complaints on other people, which is completely illegal. You can't do that. So, you know, now we're dealing with the situation where, you know, do we want to stick around or not? Well, so far, we've gone around and talked to everybody in the camp. And no one's staying. No one wants to stay at that camp. Seasonal, they have had four seasonals leave. 
um, they've had several people tell them that they're not management material, like they don't know how to treat customers. And it's it's ridiculous that these people are getting away with it. So what my family and I are going to do, you know, that's that's legal repercussions. We're going to take care of it. But I want to share the story on uh, line just so, you know, it's out there and it's a story. And I'd like to know if any of you guys have the similar problems with people like you've ever been in this kind of situation. Tell me what you guys did. Um, let us know. We're going to the Better Business Bureau about it. We're going to file complaints with the National Campground Association. Like, we've been in several, several campgrounds. Uh, we, I mean, heck, we stayed for years, three years in one. And now my uh, mother-in-law, we'll just say, she's afraid that it's her fault. Like, she's worried that, she's worried that uh, it's just her old age and that there's something wrong with her and that's the problem. And it, it's not, it's not the case at all. It's, these people are trying to squeeze every dime out of everybody they can and it's crooked. It's crooked business. So, this lady, every weekend comes up to us and tells us we need to keep our dogs on the leash. She texted us over the weekend, uh, last night, actually, that we needed to shut our dogs up. Okay, mind you, at midnight, our dogs were all in the trailer asleep. And that's when we got the message. So, you know, it's just, it's getting absolutely ridiculous that we have to deal with this situation. And we're our, we're pulling our camper out next weekend. That's just how it is. Um, we're gonna take them to court over it. You know, it's 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 bad business, is what it is. It's doing. They're breaking their own contract. They're blaming us for things that we're not even present for. So it's slander on our name. You know, it's just all around a bad time for us, and it's hard on us because now. We have to make the call of whether, hey, we're going to fight back and look like assholes or if we're going to just let them walk on us and leave and not say a word. Now, obviously, there's one solution to this and one solution only. Uh, we're going to take them. We're going to take them for what we can because of the fact that they have literally belittled us so much. What the heck is going on here? There was an update. They changed the hog pan mask to a blue color. Strange. All right. But, uh, yeah, they're, it's just, it, it, at this point, it's harassment. They're just harassing us because they don't like us. They don't want us there because we don't fit the status quo that they want. Um, but we never broke our contracts. We never did anything illegal like they tried to claim. So now we're in this debate with them, and we're just going to go above them. But it's it's been a taxing weekend. This is supposed to be a vacation weekend. You know, everybody relaxes, and just you get to be with your family and stuff, and that didn't happen. We, we didn't get that satisfaction because of the fact that somebody wanted to be an asshole essentially they wanted money they wanted to push and see how much they could get and be greedy and then on top of all of this his wife the owner's wife which they're both the owner mind you but they it's like she just screams at the top of her lungs at my uh, father-in-law just screams at him the entire campground heard it that's actually why some of them left they left that weekend he doesn't come he he refuses to come back the only time he's coming back is to pick up his trailer and i'm not even sure if he'll come back to do that because i might have to pull it out with my truck
that's how m upset he is by it. That's how upset they all are. I may have to I'm going to have to take a police officer with me to go get my own property. And that's absolutely ridiculous that 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 would even be a situation that we'd have to be in because of a company. So, I'd like for you guys to share your stories with me. Um tell me how tell me about your guys's uh crazy encounters with people and let me know what's going on there because you know it's it's hard don't get me wrong it's hard owning a business it's hard running a business and it's hard to not be taken advantage of when you do own a business uh it's just people are going to want free stuff but we didn't want anything like we weren't trying to do anything we were complying with everything they asked to the best of our ability the problem was we were being told things that weren't in our contract, first of all, that weren't even a part of the contract. They were never an issue in the first place, and we were being told we're not allowed to do them. Uh, and the husband and wife are on a completely disconnected uh, connect. Like, neither one of them know what the hell's going on. They They both say one thing, the contract says another, and... It, it, it's absolutely taxing and ridiculous on the, the customer because we don't know what we signed for. Like, we know what we intended to do with the contract and what the contract stated when we signed it. Hell, we had a lawyer read it just to make sure that, you know, we weren't in the wrong. And, you know, it's just, it's absolutely abysmal that people would do this to other people. Why can't humanity just be nice to one another? Why can't we love each other, for Christ's sake? You know? It's absolutely ridiculous that, that we have these kind of issues with people because of greed and money. Now, don't get me wrong. This guy's retired. The owner is retired. He's a retired businessman. At least he claims to be. Um, and it's just... I understand he has his entire life, the rest of his life, invested in this campground. They live on the campground, which is also a big problem. You don't get your life, your home life mixed in with your business. Like, that's just bad business. Now, for me, that's not necessarily the case just due to the fact that my my life is talking about my life. My business is talking about my life. It's sharing my experiences with people. Or at least that's what I want my channel to be. So I'm going to share all of my experiences because that's what's going to make me happy. It's what I want to do. Oh, well, I ran it out of gate. I guess we'll run what we got here through our, uh, our wash plant over here. But we got to set that up. Now, I know some of my audience is going to be too young to understand this conversation and stuff. But uh, the gist of the story and what I'm trying to get at is don't let people take advantage of you. Just don't let them push you around like that because people will. And unfortunately, it's the way of the world. Uh, it's sad and a true story that this is even a situation that we're in. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's hard to fathom why anybody would want to run a business that way and why you would get so upset and angry about something that you can't control. Like, now don't get me wrong, we probably could have been better, uh, you know, patrons. But the problem with that whole situation is we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what they were wanting us to do we are going off of what our contract stated and they're trying to tell us one thing that the contract has nothing to do with like it has nothing to do with the contract he told us that his wife had no business 
saying the things she did because uh, she doesn't understand what the contract means. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem, not mine. We did what we were supposed to legally. And now my family's really hurt by it. Like, they, they slandered our name so badly that there were people that came into the campgrounds and looked at us like we were monsters. They just stared at us and didn't know what to say because they heard these horrible stories and rumors about us that weren't true. And unfortunately for us, that, that, looks, that looks super bad on us. It makes us look like we're horrible people and we don't deserve any respect from them. And that's just not fair. So now we're dealing with other problems. But, you know, it is what it is. Life is going to be hard. You deal with you deal with your shit and you move on. But don't ever let somebody take you for a ride like that. Um, they are 100% taking us on a, a loop. They're doing their best to destroy our credibility and make us look bad because they don't want to go under. They don't want to lose their business. And don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want to lose my business either. But if you run a business like that, you shouldn't be in business is essentially how it is. Uh, it It's just, it's not good for anyone for you to do that. It's not good for you. It's not good for the client. And that's just my story time of the day and my crazy experience with this this couple that think that they have the right to belittle and destroy everyone, you know? And it's not true. Um, you have rights. We have rights as human beings to not be taken for a ride. Now, I live in the U.S., so I don't know what your situation is around the world. I don't know what your country declares, but we have a better business bureau. We have things that keep people from being able to do that. You know, we have... This is weird. Why is there a shovel in there while it's on fire? I have so many questions. But uh, until the next time, guys, I will see you in the next one. And I appreciate you guys talking or uh, you guys listening to my, my uh, woes and problems with life. And uh, I'd love for you guys to share things in the comments with me. Uh, if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know. Leave a like, share with your friends what's going on. Um, what the heck? Interesting. But you know, let me know what you kind, what kind of uh, crazy experiences you guys have had with people and how you guys dealt with it, and just. You know, don't don't let people bully you. You know, you're better than that. You deserve better than that. And we're go we expect to take it to someone who's going to do something about it. And there's a lot of us in the camp that's going to be doing that because uh, we're not the only campers that they've been doing this to. Apparently, a lot of our neighbors said that they had the same problems, same issues with them. So, uh, just remember, you're not alone. You're not alone in this. If they're doing it to you or somebody's bullying you, they're bullying someone else. And if you stand with that person and you guys stand together, they they can't they can't stop you. You essentially you become unstoppable. Um and that's not to, you know, you know, promote being completely rude and unwieldy don't get me wrong i'm not promoting that at all but i'm i'm not gonna can i'm not gonna promote somebody taking advantage of people and making them seem like they're the bad guy when they have done nothing wrong legally you know it's just it's abysmal how people act
All right. Well, that didn't go well. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, sorry for such a serious conversation, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll see you guys. Peace out.